Welcome back, rankers. I'm in a hotel room again. I know. Well, I'm at Pisa on the Gold Coast, the, the Professional eBay Sellers Alliance on the Gold Coast. And um, despite what the name says, it's more than just about eBay. eBay is certainly a big part of it um, because a lot of the people that attend this conference are selling on eBay and they want to learn more about getting their own sites up and running and having a, an eBay channel as, and as well as having a web channel. And... So it's a really, it's a great e-commerce conference. I know I bang on about it a lot, lot and, I, and I've spoken to a lot of people that have uh, been to the conference, they love it. But one of the things that has come up just probably in the last 48 hours, for me anyway, is you know, I, I've come up here and I've, today, uh, it's been a long day, so if uh, I start slurring, that's why. Um, left Melbourne, it was two degrees, get up to Gold Coast, beautiful. Um, one of the things that's come up, and I was taking some staff through this because we've got to stand here at the conference and we're doing these free 15 minute SEO audits and there's been a lot of, um, activity around that and a lot of people want them. And I've just said to the guys on the stand, look, this is how you do an SEO audit, but they're all going to be a little bit different based on what you discover in those 15 minutes. So I'm going to do another one today. And this is from someone uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to call you Girl Friday because your Twitter account doesn't have any information other than Girl Friday Weddings. So, I'll call you Friday. Um, um, Girl Friday had some lovely things to say about last week's SEO audit. So, I'm doing one now and I use Screaming Frog, this particular piece of software. And you can see here, the, the one thing that you can fix right now uh, that will, I think, probably improve your rankings uh, a little bit um, after Google's recalled all the pages, is get rid of all these temporary redirects. So, for instance, I'll show you what that is. So this page here, right, it is... I'll just go and open that in... We'll just go and open that in the browser and I'll show you what the difference is. So we've got advices, you give love a bad name, dash two, forward slash, give love a bad name. Now what's immediately evident here is there's nothing here. All we've got is this. But my spider was able to crawl it, which means that, so this that's the entire page. And my spider was able to crawl it, which means that Google is probably going to be able to crawl it. So you, you want to get rid of, this is what I would consider a low quality signal straight up. So if you've got a lot of those, get rid of them. And if you don't know how, you probably need to ask your web developer. It's You're on WordPress, which is great. I just want to see if Google has actually indexed that page. No, it hasn't, uh, which is great, but get rid of it anyway. So you've got all those, they're the things that stand out for me. But what's exciting about your site is that... You're already on the front page for some, I would have thought, competitive keywords, and yet you have some things that you can fix, which will improve your rankings. So that's what I would do first. Whenever you do a, uh, an action for SEO on your site, try not to do too many things at once. So in the case of 302s, I'd just get rid of them all straight away. I wouldn't necessarily go and get rid of one 302 and then wait a couple of days and then do the next one. I do them all because they're bad. They're bad for the user. As you can see, this page, you know, if you have a look at the um, the source of it, that's it, <laughs> right? So I don't know where that's linked from. If you download Screaming, Screaming Frog, you'll be able to find that out. But I, I wanted to get onto some other issues with your site right now, which I think you can fix. So Girl Friday is a wedding planner, and it looks like you service both Melbourne and Sydney, and I say that because it says Melbourne and Sydney wedding planners here. It says also in your page title. Now, you dominate for that phrase, right? You've got, let's have a look, and I'm doing this search from the Gold Coast. Oh, by the way, if you want a full SEO site audit, we've got the, uh, the sales page up now. Um, and it's 395 bucks, but it's 
uh, a lot more in depth than what I'm doing here. Obviously, it's a, like a, you get a 15, 20 page document back telling you or you developers what to do, what you need to do and uh, get on with it. And there's a little video there from our national sales manager as well. But this has been 10 years in the making, this, this audit. And it's thousands of sites that we've worked on, common things that we see. So we know what to check. So I'm just skimming the surface here. So Melbourne and Sydney wedding planners, by the way, the URL for that is uh, stuartmedia.biz forward slash SEO hyphen website hyphen audit. So let's just Google that phrase. So you can see there, you, you've got uh, this site here, but then you're one, two, three. The only problem is, no one's typing that phrase in. No one's going to type in Melbourne and Sydney wedding planners. I'm going to be looking for probably a Melbourne wedding planner or a Sydney wedding planner or maybe the plural, but you can go and do that check. I would always check these plurals to see if there's a significant difference between uh, the plural and the singular. And you would go and do that. I would trust Google Trends, say, over the... Uh, AdWords Keyword Tool, which uh, or AdWords Keyword Planner, which I know a lot of you love. And the reason I, I trust this a little bit more, it's going to give me seasonality. It's going to not just give me one big number. So if I type that in here, and then I'll add the singular. And there's not enough data there for me, so I'm gonna, just going to whip out the word Sydney and get a global perspective on this phrase. And the reason I'm doing that is because I just want to see a relative difference between the two. So you can see there the singular just dominates. And, and you can see seasonality. This will be you know mainly US. If I went Australia, I'm probably not going to get that amount of data. But what I, <coughs> all I'm looking for in this situation is, is the singular or the plural better to, to go after. Now you might argue, well, I want to rank for both. Well, yeah, that's fine, but you can see there that the plural is about, uh, what, what's that, five, five times um, more traffic. So that's significant, right? So that's why I would focus on the planet. Now when I have a look at that, this here, let me just see if that's a H1, I'm guessing it is. That phrase right there at the top of the page, it's you know, it's one of the first things Google sees. So let's just see if we've got a H1 here. Um, no. So how many H1s have we got? Let's go and have a look over here. Because right here I've got a, I've got a, oh boy, <laughs> I've got an underscore. I don't know if you can see, you got, I've got an underscore as a H1. Now, a H1 is a heading tag. It basically tells Google about the document. And everything that we do is about good document structure, right? So what you're trying to do is tell the, um, the search engines about the document. So if I go and just have a look at the page source of that, and I look for the H1s, and you can see there I've got six H1s. The first one is this space, really. Um, Oh, there you go, there it is there. So it is, it's a H1. And then we've got another H1 down here, which is the one I was just uh, looking at. Really for that home page, you only want the one H1. So you've got another one down here that says connect as a H1. You don't want that because it basically devalues the other H1 on the page. So connect, so this right, okay. So we've got we've got this as a H1, and then we've got this as a H1. We don't want that as a H1. We just want to use style or div tags. Tell your web developer that one. And this we want as a H1. Now the other thing that uh, is kind of good, but it's the wrong keywords, is that we've replicated this in our in our page title, which is exactly what you want to do. So it's easier for me to have a look at this via the screaming frog results. So you can see this, this is our page title. We don't need Girl Friday Weddings in there. However, 
because you're ranking well for both not only the Melbourne and Sydney wedding planners, but you're on the front page for Melbourne wedding planners and Sydney wedding planners, which is sensational, right? Because the opportunity here is to go one better. So I would remove this, and this might require a bit of coding because chances are this is set up as um, site name, page name in WordPress, which is a, a configuration thing. But I would have Girl Friday weddings at the end, not at the beginning. And I would I would um, separate this out to, this is the difficult one that you're gonna have to have to juggle. You need to have either Melbourne Wedding Planner or Sydney Wedding Planner as your keyword, as your hero phrase. You might wanna set up, uh, you might wanna just ditch uh, or, or keep Melbourne and Sydney wedding planners and, and have target pages, one for a Melbourne wedding planner, one for a Sydney, Sydney wedding planner. I, what would I do in this situation? I would, if it was my site, I would probably just do the change for the Girl Friday weddings to begin with. And, ooh, uh, it, it, you can't get both of these phrases on your homepage. That's a problem. You can't have a H1 that says Melbourne Wedding Planner and a H1 that says Sydney Wedding Planner because, once again, we devalue those um, headings uh, above. Oh, you're so close to getting in the top three, though. Um, you might already have a... You know, you might already say, I, I want to rank higher for Sydney Wedding Planners. If that's the, the case, or Sydney Wedding Planner, I should say, if that's the case, then I'd probably lose the word Melbourne, unless, you know, you've got a significant business in Melbourne. And do a H1 uh, on there that is purely, say, Sydney Wedding Planner. The other thing that, that, uh, that, that typically we wouldn't do is we'd avoid having these sorts of categories in your in your URL structure, like we've got advices, which is probably your blog, name of your blog. And then the other thing that we've got up here, we've got Girl Friday Weddings. I'd probably leave that. We've only got five pages in there, so that's okay. But see how you've done here with your other page titles? You've put the, the, um, the little... Uh, Pipe character, sorry, <laughs> fatigued. Uh, the pipe, the pipe, the pipe character. The pipe character in there. That's what you need to separate. So that's fine. And you've got Girl Friday weddings or wedding in this situation in every page. So that actually may be helping you because you've got the word wedding in uh, your brand. So if you've got your keyword in your brand, then it doesn't hurt certainly to. But for us, Stuart Media, I. I I don't think it's in uh, our heading titles, uh, page titles. If it is, it'll be right at the end. It's certainly not at the beginning. So that's what you can do there. Now, over here, you can see all these H1s, right? It's, it's across every page. So you've got to do that site-wide. You've got to get rid of that H1 site-wide. And every one of these pages, uh, let me just take one, online wishing well. So online wishing well, let's go and have a look at it. This will be, I'm assuming, a H1, but then so is this, right? So you've got to get rid of that one site-wide. Um, tell your web developer that it needs to be either a style or a div tag uh, to do that. So, and, and that will... Now, in order of doing these things, I would definitely do the three or twos, and then just wait. What you need to understand is, is that Google has to come back and crawl all of these pages and know that they're not there. Um, some of them you may even want to go to the extent of removing them from Google if they were like that one that uh, I showed you before. But we haven't got enough time to get into that. But certainly you need to get rid of those 302s. Now hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully I'll see you at Pisa. Come and say hello. We've got the stand there. We've got Tioni and uh, the other gym uh, on the stand. It's not third, me talking about myself in the third person. There is actually another person in the business named Jim. True story. And we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.